What's up, everybody? Welcome in. Should be a pretty awesome live tonight. We're not going to be doing any listings tonight, but what we are going to be doing is showing off the recent haul that I got at the thrift store. So if you missed that, that video is up on my YouTube channel, but I'm going to be going over that haul. And then we have a little bulk buy to unbox. I thought it'd be a little cool little switch up. Um, got this bulk buy in about mid-afternoon, and I was like, you know what? That's what we'll do. Appreciate you, Posh Main, as always. Um, we'll set up I thought it would be a good idea just to show you guys like what a bulk, uh, bulk buy is off Facebook Marketplace. And this video might actually end up on my YouTube channel. I'm thinking about downloading it, putting it on. So um, if you miss any part of it, it might be up on my YouTube channel too. What's good, everybody? Hopefully you guys are having a great night. If you're new here, hit that follow button in the top left-hand corner. Should be an awesome live. Yeah, bulk buy. Exciting. It should be a good one. Who we got in the chat? Old Chef's in the house. Brenda's in the house. Um, looks like Larry's in the house. Humphrey. Um, Dylan, as always, and of course, Poshmane. Appreciate you, Poshmane. So if you guys are new here, definitely hit the follow button in the top left-hand corner. What I do is I buy stuff cheap. I resell online for a profit. That's what I do for a full-time job. Appreciate you, Jen. Um, so this is going to be showing like what a two ways that I source. I source from thrift stores, and I also uh, source from online purchases. I haven't really done a bulk buy in quite a long time. Appreciate you, Poshmane. Um, haven't had a bulk buy in a long time, so um, this will be a little switch up. Um, this one's really good though, and you guys are you guys are gonna like it. It's it's gonna be awesome. What's up, Trisha? Appreciate the corn. Thank you all so much. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, let me know. Well, let's do a poll really quick. I'm gonna do a poll. I'm gonna ask you guys whether you guys want me to do the um, bulk buy unboxing first, or if you want me to do the thrifted unboxing first. So let me set up the poll really quick. Um. I'm just going to name it thrift or bulk buy. Um, which to unbox, whoops, unbox first. Okay. Duration. Damn, I don't want to do a five minute duration. Let's do a custom. Uh, Let's do like uh, 30 seconds. Let's do a minute. Do a minute. All right, the poll is up right now. Which one do you guys want me to unbox first? It's either going to be the bulk buy, which is right behind me, boop, or the thrift haul, um, which I did already. I'm, I'm pretty sure people are probably going to do um, the bulk buy. But if you want to see thrifted too, the thrifted one is going to take quite some time. I think I have five or six bags full of thrifted items. So it um, should, uh, should be pretty fun. But we'll uh, we'll see how this this goes. I can see right now. So right now, bulk buy is at eighty six percent for the bulk buy. We got twenty seven seconds left. So hit that poll um, down below. Let me know which one you guys want me to start out with first. Should be pretty fun. <clears throat> bulk buy, bulk buy. Yep, I think the bulk buy is gonna win. I kind of had a feeling about that. Kind of had a feeling the bulk buy would win. All right, eight seconds left. I don't think bulk buy is coming back. So we'll set up the uh, bulk buy unboxing. I'm probably going to have to move my camera. We'll move it uh, We'll move it over here. Over here. <clears throat> I think that's pretty good. So I'm going to unbox it. I'm going to open it up really quick, and then we'll get into what is inside this bad boy. As you can see, you might you might be able to tell just from the, the packaging. It says Foot Joy on the packaging on the outside. So um, this is from... If you guys remember, I made a video on my YouTube channel about a bulk buy that I got off of Facebook Marketplace. Had a whole bunch of um, golf items. And this is from the same person. It's from um, the guy who, he's a professional golfer. And every season, he has extras left over. And with those extras, he sells them to me. Um, he also has a golf shop, too, where he puts a bunch of um, new with tag items in. And the stuff that doesn't sell, um, he reaches out to me and he lets me know. So... Um, about about a month ago, I hit him up because he told me that it was still golf season there. So he wasn't able to sell it to me um, two months ago. So I hit him up this month again. I was like, hey, I'm still interested. And he's like, yep, I got stuff for you. Let me put it together. So this one should be a really, really good one. 
account just got suspended so annoying ouch ouch what happened good thing i didn't join that live i don't want to get suspended i don't want to get suspended what happened all right all right there we go everything's opened up i don't remember how many items total i bought um let me see. i think i spent 500 i think it was like 564 dollars on this bulk buy what's up thrifty duckies so it should be uh, pretty good if you guys are just hopping in what we're doing is we're going over a recent bulk buy that i got show you guys a couple different ways that i source i get stuff from facebook marketplace bulk buys and then i also am going to go over my thrift haul my recent thrift haul if you, if you missed that video by the way it's up on my youtube channel so um, should be pretty awesome. Let's dive into this one and see what we got. So first item, let me see if I can flip this. Let me know if this mirrors it. Am I mirrored right now? Can you guys read this label? Can you read this label? Let me know. Cause for some reason, TikTok doesn't allow us to mirror anymore. We have to ask our guests. So let me know. Can you read this label or no? No. Okay. Let me try one more time. Can you read this? Did it flip or no? If not, backwards now it's mirrored okay cool i didn't realize i'm already mirrored this whole time i've been mirrored all right first item that i picked up i guess i should face it more let's move back over here that way i have more room because otherwise i'll be i'll be too close first item is a Peter Millar sweater. Really, really nice one. Um, I typically get around 40 to 45 for these sweaters. Um, these are actually the Tor logo sweaters. So if you see right there, it has a Tor logo on the side. Um, if you ever find Peter Millar with the little hit on the side, those are Tor logo polos. Those are, I believe, specifically given out to um, professional golfers or like mid-tier golfers. And that's what this guy is. So really nice Peter Millar sweater. Super nice condition. Um, all of this... Um, I think part of these are new with tags, but most of them are used, but he keeps his stuff in excellent condition. So nice Peter Millar sweater. We'll probably be able to go through this pretty quick because a lot of these are going to be the Peter Millar sweaters. Really, really nice one again. Um, this one again, is this a tour logo? So this one is not a tour logo. It does not have an embroidery on the sleeve, but still really nice quarter zip. Um, these are in size mediums and larges, I believe. <clears throat> Another one, just different color. He basically, I believe he's sponsored by Peter Millar and he just gets one in basically every color at the beginning of the season. And then he has a full closet full of clothing right now that uh, he doesn't really wear too much. And at the end of the season, he's not gonna wear these for next season. So he just ends up selling them and I get them pretty cheap. Um, I forget what my cost per unit is. Um, I'll get that to you guys uh, at a later date, but um, still really, really nice stuff. Here's another one. This is a Crown Sport. Um, doesn't, it just has a Peter Millar logo on the sleeve. So this is not a tour logo, but really, really nice one. Easy money, easy money. Who's he? He's a guy on Facebook marketplace. If you go over to my YouTube channel, I've already done two unboxings from this guy. And at the end of every golf season, what I do is I hit him up and he, he's sponsored by a lot of these brands. So they send him a bunch of free clothing and he has so much clothing at this point that he has to get rid of it and I buy it super cheap and then I sell it. So uh, we, we established a relationship through Facebook Marketplace. It was a really cool way I did it too. Um, his wife was posting some of his clothing and I saw she had quite a few Peter Millar pieces. So I reached out to her and I said, hey, I noticed you have a bunch of Peter Millar pieces. I'm interested in buying them all. And do you have more? You always ask that question. And she was like, yep, my, my husband's a professional golfer. We actually have... 500 plus pieces we have to list and uh so i bought almost all of them from them um last season and then this is the stuff from this season i'm sure there's going to be more bulk buys from here um he's going to have more stuff but this is like super easy way to get a bunch of inventory just ask extra questions do you have any more can lead to orders like this and relationships like this where you can continually buy um out of this box i'm assuming that i am going to make at least 1500 bucks from this box um so Awesome purchase, really nice inventory. So we'll get into some more, um, but most of the stuff is going to be Peter Millar stuff. I'm going to be pushing through this pretty quick. Another Peter Millar, nice color. Again, he has one in pretty much every colorway. So I got every one of them off him. If you guys like pink, here's a nice pink one. 
super nice. This one is a Tor logo. I'm probably going to price this one up a little bit more. If you don't know what Tor logos are, um, I made a video here on TikTok about them, so go watch that video. I'm going to get these things listed probably within the next, I mean, week because they're going to fly. All medium. Uh, yeah, I think mostly medium. I think a couple of them are size large, but this was all his personal wear, so he, he wears a size medium. Um, my, medium still sells in Peter Millar. Sells decently. <clears throat> all right, we got some really, really... We got some heaters in here. I can already see. By the way, I bought this blind pretty much because I've already established a relationship with this guy. So he basically gave me like a list of what he had, but he didn't tell me like colorways. He didn't send me pictures. Because I've already established a relationship with him, I don't. I didn't really ask too many questions because uh, he's already sent me some amazing stuff. So um, I'm actually seeing this stuff for the first time too. Um, this is another one of those Peter Millar sweaters. Really nice one. If you guys are new here, by the way, hit the like button or hit the hit the like button. Hit the follow button in the top left hand corner. Um, this is something that I don't do regularly. I'm normally out here listing out in the uh, light box, um, but I figured this would be a nice change of scenery. You guys seeing. Um, other things that I do. Um, I have a guy who does salvage and estate sales in my town. Um, and I get some good stuff. That's awesome. Make connections with people. Let people know that you're a reseller. Don't be scared to be like, I even let these people know that I'm going to be reselling this stuff and they have no problem because he has so much stuff. He, he can't get rid of it and they would have to sell it one by one. So the fact that I can buy everything off of them at once, even at a lower cost is really good for them because they need to get rid of this stuff. Um, I'm supposed to be buying some stuff out of his personal closet too, which is awesome. Um, the one before was an XL. Yeah, they, they might be some different sizes, but I think most of them are mediums. <clears throat> What's in the box? So this is a bulk buy that I got off of Facebook Marketplace. We're going over it. Should be, uh, should be awesome. Um, by the way, what's up, Tina? Tina, it's your birthday weekend, right? You said that. Um, Peter Millar. Yeah, mostly Peter Millar. I got some other things in here too. Um, but for the most part, these are Peter Millar. He probably threw some extra stuff in here too for me because that's normally what he does. This is easily a $60 polo, um, probably more. So this is a Peter Millar summer comfort size medium. But the, the reason it's worth more is based off that pattern. Anytime you have patterns on these Peter Millars like this, they're more rare and people want to pay up for these. This is also a Tor logo polo. So there's a Tor logo on the sleeve. Um, I sold a similar one to this out of the first bulk buy that I got for 80 bucks. So this is an $80 polo right here. Really, really nice one. Perfect condition. Um, really awesome um, inventory. Super happy that I was able to establish this connection. Happy birthday, Tina. Hopefully you're having a good one. I got to run Jimmy's auction about to start. Yes, Big Apple Picker is doing an auction right now and whatnot. He's running a bunch of vintage tea. So if you're interested in that stuff, head over to his auction. Um, I'm... I don't have whatnot downloaded on this phone, so I'm probably going to miss it. But I was hoping to get the uh, the NASCAR tee. But, oh well, I don't need any more t-shirts. But if you guys want to go support him, head over to his whatnot. He is live right now. Here's another one. This is easily, again, probably around $60 to an $80 polo. And it is a Tor logo polo. Really, really, really nice one. I love finding these Peter Millars. What is that pattern, by the way? Are these like dreidels? What the heck is that stuff? I don't know. But awesome. Awesome polo. Now we have a plain pink one. Peter Millar Summer Comfort. Again, a Tor logo and plain pink. So the Tor logo polos, if you don't know, are worth a lot more money than a regular poor, uh, Peter Millar polo because these are only specifically, um, from what I understand, given out to Tor members. So um, these are highly coveted. I've sold just a plain polo like this. Um, on eBay for 80 bucks because it is a Tor logo polo. So um, probably won't price these that high because I really don't want to hang on to them. But 60 bucks is what I expect to sell that pretty quick. I don't know what whatnot is. is it's an auction site. Just go on um, go on Google, type in uh, whatnot.com and you should be able to figure it out. Golf tees. Yeah, most of this is uh, golf items because I bought it from a professional golfer. Um, I have one with light bulbs all over it. Love those shirts. Yes, um, the ones with those kind of patterns sell for a lot more. And they are really nice fabric. The Summer Comfort are like highly coveted. People really, really like these. Here's another one with an awesome pattern. Um, this looks like it has a bunch of musical instruments all over it. Um, this one is not a Tor logo, but still probably anywhere between a $60 to $80 polo in used condition. Really, really nice stuff. Super happy about this purchase. 
right, I'm gonna fly through these ones really quick. I've actually sold this one before um, in used condition, the exact same one, I believe for 75 bucks, but this one's a Tor logo. It's got the logo right there. So um, this one I'm probably gonna list for 80 to 100. I'll really decide what I wanna list them for, but awesome, car, car one sells really, really good. Ever sell Peter Millar shoes? I have, yes, I've actually bought Peter Millar sandals from a retail store and sold pretty much all of them really, really quick. Good pieces, yeah. I don't know what my cost per unit is. I wanna say it's like somewhere around $10 per unit. Um, but I, I I should have done that before I went live and figured that out, but oh well. Um, do you have a video on how to get bulk buys on YouTube? Yes, I have two videos already on YouTube on recent, uh, not recent, but last year's bulk buys from this exact same guy. Those are on my YouTube channel, so go watch them out. Full unboxings, like specifically made for YouTube. Um, this video will probably be on YouTube as well. Found a pair of uh, Chukka boots today. Nice. I hope you get a hundred. Um, I've seen, I've never seen Peter Millar anything. I should be able to. Um, all of these shirts are in, that have some really awesome patterns to it. Here's another one right here. Summer Comfort. Just a fun little uh, design on it. And then of course, got that Tor logo on the sleeve. So again, 80 to a hundred is probably what I'm going to shoot for on that one. Make sure that doesn't fall off. All right, here's a nice one. This is a different line of Peter Millar. This is Peter Millar Crown Crafted. Really, really nice one. Again, it has a Tor logo. So again, I should price this 60 to 80. So if I'm paying $10 for these and I sell them for 60, even after fee shipping cost of goods, I should make low end $30 profit, probably about 35 bucks profit per shirt. So I'm gonna make my money back super quick. What's up, Belly? They are nice. They are. They are super nice. How many items in that box? I don't know. <laughs> I forgot to look. Uh, I have the text message from him on this phone, but I can't look at it because I'm live. I, I just went, came out here and went live and completely forgot to do my, uh, do my uh, due diligence when it came to the bulk buy. But um, if you guys want to, you can count as we go. Here's another Peter Millar crown crafted tour logo polo. Super nice, super nice crown crafted one. Um, I think there's like 50 something items in this bulk buy because it comes out to like $10 per unit. So it should be like 50. I want to say it was 56, but don't quote me on that. How much you spend for everything? I think it was like 500. It's somewhere between 530 and 560. Again, the, the text message is on this phone that I'm filming on. So I can't go back and look. How much um, do you typically sell the regular Peter Millar polos for? The normal ones without the tour logos, you can get 35, um, right around 35, maybe 25 to 35. Um, make sure they don't have golf club embroideries on them because they're a little bit harder to sell. But the tour logo ones, 60 plus, easy. How'd you score this? Um, um, so if you watch my YouTube video, you'll understand how I got this bulk deal. Watch the first bulk buy from this golf bulk buy. Um, I just established the connection on Facebook Marketplace. Reached out to somebody that had a whole bunch of Peter Millar listed. And I reached out to them. I said, I'm interested in what you have. And do you have more? And then she let me know her husband was a professional golfer. And boom, I landed on um, this deal a year ago. And we've established a connection where every year at the end of the golf season, all I have to do is send him a message on Facebook and say, and we're on speaking terms too. I have his um, phone number. Send him a message and say, hey, do you have any more stuff to sell? He either says yay or nay. If he says yay, he gives me a list of what he has. And then I send him the money. And because we've established a connection, I just give him my credit card information over the phone. He puts it in. He he owns a golf shop. So he just puts my information in, um, runs my card at the golf shop, and that's how he gets paid. So really easy um, to set this up. I don't suggest people do that unless you built a connection with somebody. Next up, another Peter Millar, just a polo. This one is not a tour logo. So this one's probably like a $35 sale, but still um, perfect condition. Awesome polo. This one's in a size large too. So a little bit bigger. I think the crown crafted, he always buys a size large. The summer comforts, he always buys a size medium. Another crown crafted. This one is a tour logo. So we're going to be pricing this one up for 60 plus. There's the label right there. Just a solid white. These solid whites sell really, really well. Networking wins again. Yep. Networking is key. Don't be scared to tell people you're a reseller. They already know that I'm going to resell these. I've already spoke with them. I let them know this is how I support my family. And his wife is all for it. Um, whenever they have stuff, like I said, they hit me up or I hit them up. They're really happy to give it to me. All right, what do we got here? 
Looks like a pair of Adidas. Okay, so there is some new with tag stuff in here. Um, he let me know that he's going to send me some from his golf shop. So these are a pair of Adidas shorts. Really awesome pattern. And they are brand new with tags. Um, I normally get like 35 for these. Maybe, maybe a little bit more based off this pattern. Um, they don't have the retail price on them. It, he ripped it off, but still really, really nice um, item. Brand new with tags. Um, so he did throw in some random stuff in here. I knew he would. This is just a Michael Kors polo. This was not in the, uh, the description of the bulk buy. So this is pretty much free inventory. Um, I don't think these are going to sell for anything. I have a few of these, um, in this bulk buy, but he throws random stuff in. He just wants to get rid of his stuff and he throws it in. There's another one right there. Michael Kors polo. Michael Kors doesn't sell for much, but I'll take it for free. I might actually keep those for myself. Nice goal on the PLMLR, man. Love that brand. It's awesome brand. Flips really well. By the way, if you guys aren't following Tokyo Thrifts, go give him a follow. He was um, on our live last night, Thrift Daddy's podcast. We interviewed him. It was pretty awesome. We had a really good conversation. Have you noticed how high Goodwill's? I haven't been to Goodwill in at least a month and a half. So I don't notice because um, I go to different thrift stores. And if your Goodwill's are too high a price, I suggest finding different outlets to find inventory, such as bulk buys. You can get bulk buys, get a bunch of inventory, really great stuff, super cheap. You have to do a lot of work to get a bulk buy in. It's not going to be easy. Um, go to other thrift stores. That's what I do. I don't go to Goodwills anymore. I just haven't been. All right. So it looks like he threw in those two for free. Here's another Peter Millar. This is a Peter Millar featherweight. If you don't know what featherweight is, it's like a super light material. Peter Millar does. And this one has his golf club embroidered on the side. Um, won't really affect the value too much because it's a small embroidery. Um, I've sold these with his golf club, um, still for about the same price as I do if they don't have the golf club. So really, really nice. This actually has buttons on it. I've never seen one of these before. Oh, they have snap buttons. This is pretty cool. Little snap buttons on this Peter Millar. Um, I've never sold the featherweight sweaters before. I've sold the other sweaters. So I'm curious on what those will go for. I'm, I'm assuming probably like around 35 to 40. Um, here's another Peter Millar sweater this one has his golf club embroidered on the side again probably 30 35 to 40 on that one <clears throat> another really good one nice pattern to this one peter millar this one is a tour logo has that tour logo on the side really good price this one a little bit higher probably 60 to 80 is what i'll get for that one and they have this is some really 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 good inventory I'm super, super happy about this. Another Peter Millar tour logo. Nice, nice pattern to this one. I'll try to go through these pretty quick because it's pretty much the same stuff over and over again. We'll get into some more polos. This one right here is a tour logo with a pattern. Again, I have listed these. Um, if you go over to Mike Mercari, you can see I sold one of these, I think for like 80 or 85 bucks um, last year. Re a similar pattern to that that was a tour logo so definitely be on the lookout for those they're really hard to find though really hard there's another one right there boom just a nice striped pattern tour logo awesome awesome stuff here's another one with his golf club embroidered on it this one will be a little bit of a harder sell because it's got that golf club um, probably like 25 on this one nothing too crazy but still an awesome shirt all right, another one with an awesome pattern, Summer Comfort. No tour logo, but that with that pattern, it'll sell. There's some, it's just some golf shades, or some, uh, not golf shades, but just some shades on the front. Really awesome pattern to this one. Um, where'd you get that um, box stuff? I got it off a of bulk buy. If you want to watch a couple videos on these bulk buys, I got them on my YouTube channel. Same person I got that bulk buy from on the YouTube channel is the same one that I'm getting these ones for. How much are those retail? Those shirts retail, I believe, for $89. The ones with the patterns, I believe, uh, retail for a little bit higher. I think $98. But because those are tour logos, those are sought after, so you can actually sell them above retail. Tour logos are very, very sought after. This one is not a tour logo, but is a summer comfort with a nice, looks like wine glass or uh, martini glass uh, pattern all through it. Really awesome one. But that one is probably like a $60 sale. Man, there's so much good stuff in here. This is insane. Really nice one. Tour logo again. I'm going to be pricing this one up. Um, this one has horses and 
This looks like a cowboy pattern on this one. Horses and um, has a gun, a uh, pew pew on it. <laughs> Can't say that word. Has cactus on it. Really awesome. Um, did you share how much you paid for everything? Yeah, I think I paid, I want to say it was, it was either 536 or five. 536 or 564. I cannot remember the price I paid. I will inform you guys after it. I have a text message from it. I have it logged, but I have it on this phone. I can't read it right now. Appreciate you, Bearded. Bearded's in the house. Another Peter Millar. This one is another Tor logo. These things, I'm going to make all my money back selling just a few of these Tor logo polos, which is going to be absolutely insane. Really nice pattern to this one. Looks like uh, another, like, um, uh, alcoholic beverage one, um, all through it. Looks nice. Um, can you just pause real quick? Um, it would take five seconds max. Um, no. <laughs> nice try, Daniel. Nice try, Daniel. Good job, Daniel. All right, next, we're going to get out of the Peter Millars really quick. This is a Link Soul. Um, but the cool thing about this one, it is brand new with tags. Um, Link Soul is a really awesome brand. Um, typically used condition, I sell these for about 25 to 30. But in new condition, I probably will get 40 to 50 for this polo. Really awesome. Um, size large. So good size too. All right. Hopefully we got some. Oh, we do. I was just about to say, hopefully we got some new with tag Peter Millar items. So here we go. This is, he was asking $59 for this. He sold it to me for 10. So obviously you wanted to move it pretty quick. This is a Peter Millar sweater, brand new with tags. And this one is a silk cotton blend, brand new with tags. It's not, it's a sweater vest actually. Really nice one, knit, awesome sweater. Um, probably will get 60 to 80 for this, I believe. Really awesome sweater. Appreciate your Risner. What is Tor logo? Excellent question. Um, Tor logo is whenever they have the patch on the sleeve that says Peter Millar, or I believe sometimes it's on the back, it means it's a um, tour issued polo. So this guy is actually a professional golfer. So Peter Millar sends him boxes of um, clothing and some of the golfers, they put that patch on the sleeve and it's specifically for professional golfers. So they are highly coveted. Um, normal people want those two to look cool on the golf course. They got the Peter Millar patch on the sleeve. Um, so they can sell for over retail because um, they're coveted. People, people really like them. <clears throat> Um, nice sweater. What's up, Sassy? Sassy, I still haven't got your box. Um, I know you said that it was supposed to be on the way. I haven't got it yet. Haven't received it. If you want, send me, send me the tracking so I can track it. Cause I, I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for. Um, next up is an Adidas polo, brand new with tags or no, this is not polo. It's just a t-shirt brand new with tags. I might actually keep this for myself. Really, really nice one. Um, in new condition, this is probably like a 20 to $25 sale. Nothing too crazy on that one. Um, so not everybody can get it. Um, so that's why, yes, not everybody can get it. Um, so that's why like golfers want to be seen on the golf course and have that patch on their sleeve. And people will be like, are you a professional golfer? And then they can make up a story about how they are, I guess. I don't know. I'm not on the golf scene. All right. So there was other stuff in here and here is a, Polo Ralph Lauren, 100% lamb's wool. It looks like a, almost like a sweater polo. Really, really nice one. 100% lamb's wool. Um, retail on this, it doesn't say he ripped off the retail tag, but I'm assuming this is like a hundred ish dollars for this one. Really, really nice um, sweater polo, 100% lamb's wool. I do not know off the top of my head what these will go for. Um, didn't look up comps, so we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated. Um, uh, got his today and he's in Texas. Okay. So maybe I'll get mine tomorrow. <clears throat> Trisha's back. All right. We got some other stuff. Here we go. This is a brand new in the box or in the bag. Peter Millar Polo hasn't even been opened yet. Somebody asked about retail price on these. Um, the crown crafted ones retail for 98 bucks right there. 98 so brand new hasn't even been open i probably just snap pictures of it i won't even have to open it won't have to take any measurements either is there the same for other brands of golf with a tour embroidery um i don't believe so i think it's just peter millar um i haven't seen it on any other other golf polos at least i'm not informed about it 
I just learned about Tor logo on the first bulk buy that I got from this guy because I noticed all of them had those patches and I was like, what do these mean? I've never seen these before. Looked them up and found out there were uh, Tor logos. Where do you run your business? Out of home or another area? Out of my house. Right now I'm in my garage. So as you can see, all my inventory is behind me. Um, I run it out of my out of my house. Picked up a black leather, um, black label Ralph Lauren pink dress. Um, can feel the quality. Awesome. Black label is awesome. Appreciate your PNT. It doesn't look good um, for me getting that shirt. Um, wait, hold on. It doesn't look good um, for me getting that shirt that I want from his auction. Oh, is there too many people over there right now? Is there too many people? All right, next up, we got some pants too. These are a pair of Peter Millar pants. This is an older style. This must have came out of his closet because this is not a newer. Um, but these are corduroys, really awesome pair of corduroys um probably 40 to 50 for these i would expect to get uh, peter millar pants also fly really fast if you get the right uh, models right designs here's another one just another pair of size 34 corduroys in a different color like i said he gets a bunch of stuff it's all pretty much the same but peter millar just sends him one in basically every color so he just um he doesn't need them so he sells them to me um how do you know what's in each bin um, all of my listings have my bin numbers in them. So when I make a sale, it has my bin in there. So for example, if something sells in bin C, which is up there, bin C number 32, I grab C down, look for number 32. It's super easy to grab my inventory um, as soon as it sells. You can see B is missing right there. That's because I was filling it up right before the live. All right, next up, um, these are a pair of men's Brooks Brothers Corduroy. Um, I don't sell Brooks Brothers pants too much, but I would pick up a corduroy anytime I see it. Um, this is probably like a $35 to $40 sale. Nothing too crazy, but this will sell pretty quick. All right, what do we got here? Another pair of Michael Kors. Um, this is something he probably just threw in because I don't remember Michael Kors being on the list. Oh, it's thundering outside. I hear the thunder. Try to speed this up a little bit. These are Ralph Lauren. Just... Ralph Lauren Chino pants, um, probably like a $25 sale. There was some lower end stuff. Normally when you do bulk buys, you're not going to get all high end stuff. Um, but as long as the majority of it's high end, then you'll make your money back pretty quick. But there is going to be some low end stuff that you're just going to have to take in because that's part of the game with bulk buys. But I will still make money on all of those. Um, do you reuse the bin? My R bin was low, so I use the numbers. So as soon as a bin becomes low in inventory, I pull it, I take everything out, I reorganize it, and then I start putting new inventory in, I start restacking it. So um, pretty much what I do is I come out here, I scan the bins, and that's why I suggest having these clear bins because you can see what's in there. Pull the bin and start putting new inventory in. That's what I was doing right before the live. It's negative 40, jeez, negative 40. How do you guys survive? Um, I think this brand is Brian Nelson, another throw in brand new with tags. Um, I don't think I'm going to get too much for this, probably like a $25 sale, but it is brand new with tags. So, um, easy, easy scoop on that one. All right. What else do we got in here? We got another pair of Adidas brand new with the tags. Tags are on the inside right there. These are Adidas sweatpants. I might actually keep these for myself. Uh, they're size medium. They might not fit me. Actually, I got a little bit of a big, big daddy belly. But uh, if I sell these, probably like 35 bucks is what I expect to get for these. Freezing in Oregon. Yeah, it's not, not cold yet here in Florida. I'm still out in my garage in a t-shirt. But tomorrow, I'll probably be out here in a sweater. I bought clear bins, but, not, um, but I'm not big time. I got mine at Walmart, not Target. Yeah, I get mine at Target. But either way, they're pretty much the same bins. Five degrees in Oklahoma. Ouch. I think it's still like 65 here or something like that. But it's supposed to cool down. No snow here, that's for sure. All right, next up, these are a pair of Brooks Brothers, but they are brand new with tags and they are corduroys. Um, what do these retail for? These retail for 98 bucks, so I'll probably be able to get like 40 to 45 for these in brand new condition. But corduroys sell really fast. If you ever find corduroys in a thrift store, they have a good brand attached to them, pick them up because they fly. They sell really, really quick. Um, 28 in VA. Too cold for me. Uh, this is a brand I got in one of his original bulk buys. Um, 
it sold, but it didn't sell for crazy sell for crazy money. But this one will sell for a little bit more because this is a jacket and it's brand new with tags. It's called, you guys can pronounce that. I think it's Dever Deveru Deveru Devere something like that. Don't pronounce don't don't tell me to pronounce this. It's too hard. But really nice item jacket. I will be listing this ASAP because it'll probably sell quickly because we're in jacket season. I actually went through all my inventory today, pulled all the jackets out, and I'm gonna be listing them tomorrow. And then I'm gonna start listing all the pants. So. Devereaux. There you go. Devereaux. So highly suggest you guys do the same. Get your jackets listed ASAP because it is jacket selling season. You do not want to be caught with those in March and April because then they'll sit. Here's a um, Donald Ross, another brand I typically skip over, but it's brand new with the tags. So that's why I picked it up. Um, he was asking 50 on this. I'll probably be asking like 25 to 30. It's just a uh, sweater vest and it has um, Donald Ross hit on the front. Um, sold five men's true religion in four days this week. Let's go men's true religion jeans. I'm trying to tell you guys true religion flips really good in men's condition or men's br men's condition, men's brand. Um, here we go. Another pair of Peter Millar. These are another pair of corduroys should sell very well. Not new with tags. My eBay is going slow because I'm new. Yes. The more items you have listed, the more sales you'll get. So don't be discouraged. Just keep on listing. Does white pocket tag on Levi cord mean they are vintage the white pocket tag i don't think so they have to be made in usa to be vintage in most cases all right let's get into some brand new peter millar stuff this is a peter millar size large just a long sleeve shirt but it is brand new with tags i normally get um, right around 45 to 50 for these 45 to 50 um please tell people um you get those sales because you're a seasoned seller Please tell people you get those sales because you're a seasoned seller. Um, I get those sales because I have a good title, a good description. I take good photos. You don't have to be a seasoned seller to be able to sell items for what prices I get because I have new people who come on and they listen to what I tell them to do and they get just as much as I get. In some, in some cases, I've actually seen people sell items for more than I get. So no, it's not because I'm a seasoned seller. It's because I'm doing everything correctly and I highly suggest you do the same. Don't just throw your items on the floor and put up a title that says, Peter Millar shirt new, and then put your description as Peter Millar shirt new and expect your items to sell the same price as I do. It will never happen. Um, for me to have a $900 week was great. Let's go. That's awesome to hear. Um, I just checked uh, the tracking and it said it was delivered today around 1.30. Okay, maybe it's in my mailbox. If it's in my mailbox, I'll go check. I didn't check my mailbox today. Did, did you send it through the post office? Uh, what's Jimmy's whatnot name? Um, I was going to check it out. I think it's at that reseller chick. I think he runs it off of his, um, his, uh, his girlies. They do say made in the USA. So they are vintage. Yes. Got two sales today. Let's go. What part of Florida? I'm in the Tampa Bay area. I'm where Jen is the, the, the lady right below you. She steals all my inventory. Um, Bolo brand Solka bought a cotton sweater for three sold for 70 cashmere for f holy cow. That's awesome. What's up, Amy? K was also consistent and persistent. Yes, consistently selling or consistently listing, which means I'm consistently making sales. If you don't list every single day, you're not going to make consistent sales. Um, it's just not going to happen. I've listened to him and I've studied his post and now doing it and getting just as much. There we go. Flipping nurse is doing the same thing. So it's not because I'm a seasoned seller. It's not because a lot of people see me on social media and they're like, you're only making these sales because you're selling to the people on your social media. I have made probably 10 now 10 to 11 sales through social media. It's not that much. <laughs> it's not It's not that much. I don't do that. I listen to everything you say. Appreciate it. It said in the mailbox. Okay, I'll check it after the live. It's out in the mailbox. I haven't uh, haven't, haven't uh, went out to the mailbox yet today. Your sister hooked me up with some shoes today. Let's go. See, Kat's going to catch up to me. She's actually going to sell more. I told her this. When you're doing women's clothing, um, I think you tend to sell more than uh, men's clothing because Women are always out there. They're constantly shopping. Whereas guys, we're kind of just watching. We're not really shopping for ourselves. Port Charlotte. What's up, Port Charlotte? Found an H bar C Sherpa coat for $5. All coats were five. Um, last day opened. Nice. What does that go for? What's up from Oklahoma? Uh, really appreciate your honest and helpful tips. Thank you so much for hopping in and uh, feel free to ask any questions. I, I'm as honest as I possibly can be. Put my eBay store in my description. I want you guys to see that I'm actually selling what I'm saying I'm selling. And I'm not selling to viewers. I'm selling to people who are actually looking for these items. Um, Wayne, have your daughter have your daughter get it? Um, 
I could, but then I got to get off stream. I might go out. I'll go out and grab it in a little bit after uh, I go through my thrift haul. I found a 13 Doc Martens yesterday for six twenty five. You're going to make good money on those. Um, how does a plain green Peter Millar 100% cotton button down sell? And for how much? If it's plain green, it doesn't have uh, embroidery on it anywhere. You're probably going to get 25 to 35 for that if you list it correctly. Got shoes for my kids. Oh, yeah, I was, I was watching that. Yeah, you're the one who picked those up. You're also the one that found all those Johnny Was pieces, aren't you? I'm very jealous. Uh, I made 20K since March 20, um, but I have a full-time job. There you go. There, there's people out there doing it. There's people taking massive action and making things happen. That's what I like to see. I've listened to, sold 6K in 90 days, 135 items in 90. See, testimonial. I should I should do like a, like a, a song behind me and do like a testimonial right now. Learned a lot from you. Appreciate you listening. Appreciate all of you that listen and take action because that's the hardest part. 150 to 300. Let's go, Risner. That's awesome. I never knew uh, what brands to get, but now um, I know what brands to buy. Appreciate it. Yes, I sent your sister a video of it all. Yeah, um, she told me I'm going to watch it on Christmas. I think we're going over there Christmas Eve, so I'm going to take a, uh, I'm going to watch it and see all that you got. If you ever want to sell that stuff, hit me up first. <laughs> no, I'll sell it to her if you want to. Uh, you can agree or disagree, but I, uh, it's still about feedback and sales, AKA. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. Uh, Kayla, I, I know, I know it can get discouraging when you see other people making like high dollar sales and you're like, why isn't my stuff selling? It's not about your feedback. When I go on eBay and I purchase from somebody, I don't even look at their feedback. Some people do, but I do not. Um, I don't think it's because of feedback. I think it's cause I'm listing correctly. I'm optimizing my items for search. Um, I'm doing everything that you're supposed to do to get your item to sell. It's not about feedback. Um, it's not, it's just simply not. There's people in the chat that have started with minimal feedback and are selling items the same price I am because they're just listening to what I say. So it's not about feedback. Um, feedback can maybe can help in some circumstances, but to be honest, I don't think it does. I, I really don't think it does. I don't think people just go on there and say, I'm not buying from anybody without a hundred feedback. It just doesn't happen. I sell to new people all the time too. People with zero feedback doesn't uh, doesn't matter. Um, we say list it correctly. What do you mean? So have a good title with lots of keywords. For example, for this Peter Millar shirt, um, I would start with the brand. I would say Peter Millar men's large purple blue plaid cotton long sleeve button down shirt. Those are all keywords that people can search when they're looking for items. Try to use as much as your title as you possibly can and just fit a bunch of keywords in there. Plaid, blue, purple, cotton, men's, large, Peter Millar. Those are all searchable key terms for people to be able to look up. And then when you do your description, make sure you're putting your measurements of your items in your description so your buyers can compare it to something they own. And then last off, go look at my eBay store. Look at my photos. Photos are key. When buyers are searching and they're scrolling through eBay, if you're just throwing your items up on the back of a, a closet, um, people are going to scroll through that with bad lighting and they're just going to be like, yeah, I don't want that shirt. Even if it's new, I'll go to the next one that might even be priced a little bit higher, but I can see what I'm going to get. And I can see that it's a quality piece. That's what's going to make your item sell. So those few things, free shipping, free returns, um, that entices people to buy. So there's a lot of things you can do to get a little bit more money for your items and also make your items sell a little bit better. I hope that explains it. Um, have you ever heard of sold or sold shredly? I haven't, I think you mentioned that in one of my other lives too. I've never, never sold that. Um, started, um, 9th of November, zero feedback, 106 sales to date. Boom. Dylan with dropping the bombs. Um, so I tried this many years ago. Um, no go, but did this part time, less time is listing many sites key. Yes. Listing on multiple sites can help definitely, but, um, it's not necessary. You can list just on eBay. Bearded thrifter shows you that you can list just on eBay and make, uh, make good money just solely listing on eBay. I decide to do multiple because, um, I have, I'm full time. I'm able to take care of four sites. Yeah. Big apple picker has a new challenge with a, a new account too, that he's doing good description. Picks are key listing correctly. Yep. Um, you have to learn the brands. Yeah. Well, learning the brands is key. Of course, fit all the info into under 80 characters. Yep. Yeah. Try to fit as much as you possibly can get 80 letters, use lots of words, lots of keywords, any keywords you can possibly think of that somebody's going to search, use those. I straight copy your, um, your title style and description setup. Exactly. Go look at my stuff. 
feel free to. By the way, if you guys have any questions, drop them down in the chat. If you guys could tap the screen. Let's get to like 20K. We should be able to. Presentation counts. Lightboxes have increased my sales with better pics. Yeah, I know lightboxes are expensive. You don't need them. But to be honest, it's just so much easier to take pictures and they come out really good. That's why um, I use them. And if you guys want to buy any, the light boxes that I use, um, they are linked in my bio. I found a plain white rubber gram long sleeve button down today, got for six. The plain white ones do really good. I would price that as long as it's in good condition for 45 to 50. It'll probably sell pretty quick. Um, we all start with zero feedback. Exactly. Everybody starts with zero feedback. Start from the bottom. Started from the bottom. Now we're here. Um, if I have more than one item... I list um, on different places. Yeah, I, I list the four websites, eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Facebook. Um, I got a chargeback on Amazon last night. Customer says he didn't get it. Um, Amazon charge return. I don't sell on Amazon, so I don't know. Um, unfortunately, that's the Amazon beast. So for, um, sold in October on four platforms, over 300 sales so far. There we go. Old chef, the testimonial. Appreciate the corn, by the way, Poshman. Um, do you have a different items on each site? No, pretty much all my clothing gets cross-listed to the four websites. There's only certain things I don't cross list. For example, these trains that I have that I got in a bulk buy, that video is on my YouTube channel. Um, I do not put these um, on any site but eBay because I don't think they're going to sell. Um, how tall is the walk-in light box? It's like six feet tall. The dimensions should be in the listing over on Amazon. So just go check out the listing. It's linked in my link tree in my bio. Um, it's a brand of bike shorts I picked up. They sell for around 70. Let's go thrifty duckies me and dylan are waiting bearded i got work to do i i can't sit here and play call of duty all night bearded i gotta do work bro uh <laughs> really enjoying the new light box i got through your link yeah everybody's liked it so far yeah he's talking call of duty but we still got we got this to go through and then we're gonna go through the uh thrift haul too we'll probably bang out the thrift haul pretty quick another pair of peter millar pants solid black um i normally get 40 to 50 for these um, they sell really, really fast too. So awesome pickup. I love picking up Peter Millar. They sell super quick, super quick. Definitely this time of year too. Another pair in a blue colorway, just a solid blue pair of Peter Millar pants. Another one, it looks like in a beige colorway. These are super awesome, super awesome sellers. His stuff is in mint condition, by the way. I don't have to worry about stains at all from this um, from this bulk buy. Um, I've only found one piece that had a stain uh, had a stain on it out of like the 500 plus items I got from this guy. Um, have you heard of Gurin Gurin Bros um, flat bill hats? Never. I don't pick up many hats to be honest, so it's not a brand that I probably would know because I don't sell too many hats. I buy them though. Shout out Bearded Thrifter if you guys want a Bearded Thrifter hat. You go uh, to link in his bio. You can purchase this hat. It's pretty awesome. I wear it all the time. Got some really nice pattern Nike golf shorts today for two fifty. Nike golf shorts sell really fast for me, twenty five to thirty five. So that's awesome pickup. eBay band. Um, no idea why they won't say Mercari Poshmark last five days. Eight hundred plus ten items. I don't know why eBay would ban you. They should send you an email when they ban you. Women's clothes. To thrift, I don't know many women's brands, but if you want to know somebody who does, hit up my sister Sunrise Listings. Ask her as many women's questions as you want. Sunrise Listings, all one word. I bought all six pairs. That's awesome. That's really good. Uh, you're gonna make some good money on those. It's a limited series hat. Found similar going for a hundred to five hundred. Let's go. That's awesome. I like hearing these bolos. I like learning from you guys. You guys learn from me. I learn from you all too. Another pair of Peter Millar. These are Element Four pants. They have the four on the back. Also. I don't know if these... Oh, they are. They're all EB66. Um, so look up Peter Millar EB66. These are actually really good. These these will actually sell for 60 plus. I didn't realize that they were EB66. Um, look them up. They're really, really good. Yeah, Poshman tagged her below. Sunrise listings. I think all of these... Are these all EB66s? They are. Holy cow. These are easy 60. 60 bucks. Um, another pair right here. I didn't notice that. So that's an awesome pickup. Just look up Peter Millar pants and put an EB66 over on eBay. Um, I'm going to list mine. The highest comps you see is where I'm going to list mine. Harley shirts, um, the older C day, more money they sell for. Yes, Harley shirts, the vintage ones can go for really good money. Um, also, the ones that say 3D emblem anywhere on them, either on the tag or on the print, those can go for hundreds of dollars. So make sure you're looking for the 3D emblem ones. 
Um, I've been selling hats myself that pick up from the bins, sell for 15 to 25. Yeah, if I went to the bins, that's probably one thing I would actually pick up as hats. They're super easy to list, super easy to ship, and you're probably getting them for like 50 cents. So that's really good. So I can't say Velcro in the listing. What should I say? You do not sell, say Velcro, you say hook and loop. Yeah, Poshman said it. Hook and loop. You cannot say Velcro. Velcro is uh, a, a banned word on eBay. It's a V road word. Um, Velcro does, does not allow you to use that word. So do not try. Um, you got those on Facebook marketplace. Yeah. All these were picked up in a bulk buy on Facebook marketplace from the same guy. If you go check out my YouTube channel, um, the two bulk buys that I got for golf clothing over my YouTube channel, it's the same exact guy. <clears throat> all right. Another Peter Millar shirt. This one is also brand new with the tags right down here. This is an older style, um, but still awesome pattern. I should be able to get probably like 40, 45 for this one. Nothing too crazy, but still for like 10 bucks that I spent, it's worth it. All right. It looks like we're almost done. We got a couple more to go. It doesn't get better than this. Like finding this stuff. I'm, I'm seeing this stuff for the first time. Um, like you guys are. So this is Peter Millar crown sport, but it is brand new with the tags. So retail on these are 115. I should be able to get 60 to 80 for these somewhere around there. But Peter Millar pants fly, brand new with tags. Cannot beat that. Cannot beat that. Um, here's another pair, same exact pants, Peter Millar. You see the tag, and they are brand new with tags as well. So again, 60 to 80 is what I should expect to get for those. And last up, let's see, what's the last item we got? It's another Peter Millar pair of pants. These are in used condition though, which is fine. 35 to 40 on these bad boys. So awesome, awesome bulk buy. I'll get you guys the numbers. I'll probably tell you guys tomorrow on live what the numbers are, but this was a, a killer bulk buy. I really, I'm really hyped up about this one. Should be able to make some really good money on it. Um, I love doing bulk buys, even though I pay up for stuff, it's okay because I'm getting a bunch of really good inventory all at once. So why is Velcro brand? Velcro is a is a copyrighted word, I believe, and you're not allowed to use it. They don't allow anybody to use the word Velcro. I said Velcro. I don't know if it matters on Poshmark, but it does matter on Mercari. Or not on Mercari, on eBay, sorry. Hook and loop, um, those are little details that are just invaluable. Yes, hook and loop. That's like one thing that a lot of people make the mistake right when they happen. And that's probably why a lot of people get banned is they keep using the word Velcro over and over again. Um, still uh, similar to saying Kleenex, um, for tissue, uh, Xerox for t photography. Yeah. There's certain band words. You're just not allowed to say sold 20 things on, on eBay recently for non-paying bidders. How do you handle the situation? I send them a message every single day saying that I would like payment. I'm waiting on one right now. Um, the guy lives overseas and he's just not paying for his item. So I send him a message every day on the fifth day. I cancel the order with buyer does the buyer hasn't paid for the item. And then I just relist the item. That's the only thing you can do on eBay. It's really annoying, but it's the only thing you can do. All right, next we're going to go over the thrift haul. So we have five bags. I'm going to try to fly through these really quick because I've already been on live for an hour. And if I stay, if I go as slow as I did with the bulk buy, we're going to be on live for like another two hours, which I'm sure you guys don't care. But um, I want to try to get done. Uh, Bearded's waiting for me, obviously. He's, he's already come in the chat and said, where are you, man? Um... Why is this guy not selling them himself and selling bulk instead? Um, I've, I've answered that. Um, he he is a professional golfer. He actually owns a golf shop. So a lot of these, you'll see that they actually have a price on them. So he, he listed these in his golf shop and they didn't sell. So right here, you can see this one, he had priced at $59. They didn't sell. So at the end of the season, whatever doesn't sell, he hits me up and then I buy bulk off of him. And I pay like a lot less than what he has them priced at. Um, I've learned not only to buy what I can list in two days, I've always list 10, um, but try for 20 items. Yeah. That's normally what I do around 20 items a day. Um, I'll change it better. Get in the habit of not saying it. Um, we're here for the long haul. Yep. I don't mind two hour live. Yeah. We might be on live for two hours. Who knows? Cause I still got, I got like five bags to go through. So if you guys missed this, um, thrift live, it's actually up on my YouTube channel right now. So you can watch me pick up all these items live. If you would like to over on my YouTube channel, my YouTube channel is K way shop. So go watch the video, show it some love, give it some likes, um, comment, do all that good stuff. So we'll get into it. Um, first item we'll go over. I don't pick up many shoes, um, from red, white, and blue. Cause I normally leave these for Ethan, but I couldn't pass up nobles when I walked right by them. If you don't know this brand, it is noble. Excellent. Excellent brand sells for good, good money. This is a women's 
size six and a half, women's size six and a half, pair of yellow nobles. Really awesome. I think these go for like 50 plus, but I, I didn't look up comps. I just know nobles are always a pickup. So um, really awesome to find these. I have another pair in one of the other bags. Um, this might actually be sold to a viewer. They still haven't hit me back yet, um, but this is a men's LL Bean. Um, it's a lined like shirt jacket. Really nice. Um, this one I only paid $6.50 for. I have it sold for 30 to the viewer if they want it. If not, I'm going to list this one for probably 40 bucks. If you guys ever see me pick stuff up at a thrift store and you want to purchase it off me, hit me up on Instagram. I will give you a way better deal than I would if I put this up on eBay. Um, obviously, I'm able to save a little bit on fees, but I only take PayPal. So, shirt and jacket. I'm going to set this one off to the side because I'm going to get it listed right away if they don't want it. Keeping on the L.L. Bean theme. Yeah, check it. Another um, L.L. Bean. This one was... Is this... This is yellow. So this one was $10. No, this was half off. Sorry. This one was only $5. Um, L.L. Bean, another one, probably the same person donated this one. Really nice flannel lined. Um, again, I'll probably list this one for right around 40. Normally the flannel lined ones do a lot better than the uh, normal L.L. Beans. What size is that? They're both size medium reg, medium reg. They probably fit like a large though. Um, I'm normally a size large and I'm pretty sure that these would fit me but I have the dimensions if you want them. I've already sent them to the other uh, lady, but I am a large and I am almost certain that this would fit me. It says medium reg though. All right, next up is a 511 tactical shirt. We paid $5 for this bad boy. Really awesome shirt. Um, I expect to get probably 30 to 35 for it. Um, I already answered that, sorry. I'm, I'm rereading, rereading chat. All right, what tag was half? Blue was not half off. Um, this is an LL Bean. It is a denim shirt. It was only $4. This one also, this one is in a really great size, really awesome size. Um, this one is a 2XL tall, really rare size to find. Um, I'm expecting this one to go for 40 to 50 just because of that tall, really tall size. And this is another one I'm gonna get listed ASAP. Size on the 511. The 511 is a size medium. Um, I would love the first one for Hassan, a buyer, buyer fall too. PNT, hit me up on Instagram and just send me a message and say, LL Bean, um, in what color you want. So I remember if they fall through, if they don't answer me by tonight, it's yours. Grab the 511 Tactical today. Too nice. Here's another LL Bean. Again, this was probably donated by the same person. If you guys remember the live thrift the week before, I actually left this one and I'm glad I did because I got this one. No, this was blue tag. So I didn't get this one half off. There's another one I got half off. Um, but we paid six bucks for this. Just a chamois LL Bean, really nice one. That one will be listed ASAP. Right, blue tag wasn't half off. Now I'm like, now I'm thinking to myself was blue. I think blue was not half off. Maybe I'm completely wrong. I'm pretty sure blue was not half off. I don't remember. Uh, this is another LL Bean. If it was blue, it's not half off. We paid 10 bucks for it. Um, another medium reg. It's got the flannel lining. It's also got like a corduroy outside. Really soft, really nice. And uh, just uh, has that pocket. But the, I thought these were leather. They're not leather. They're just a uh, fabric, fabric pocket. But really nice. Um, this one I'll probably get right around 44. Yeah, blue is full price. Okay. That's what I thought. I was like... I went through all of my inventory out here from the last three hauls and I organized it today. So I completely forgot the, the labels. Um, I got a Patagonia jacket. I can't wait. Oh, oh yeah. Official Jacob. Yeah. You were the one that got the Patagonia jacket. Really appreciate you reaching out. Um, it was sent out today. First class I actually packed it up on this morning's live. So really appreciate you. Like I said, if you guys find anything, I will give you a better deal. That jacket, I probably would have listed for 85 plus shipping. Um, not plus shipping. I probably would have listed for 90 free shipping like you saw in that video. But because uh, you guys are viewers and you guys are buying it without me having to list it, I will give you a better deal for sure. Pick up um, any size LL Beans. I won't pick up a size small. Smalls, I probably will pass. Should I pass up on the red shirt identical to that one yesterday? Bigger size is an LL Bean. If that was a bigger size, I would probably list it a little bit higher. All right. And this one, this is the one that I passed up the week before. This is an LL Bean chamois shirt. This one is in a size large. Um, the week before this was full price, yellow was full price, and I decided to pass on it. 
Really happy I did because I got it half off. I paid $5 less for a nice L.L. Bean chamois. Again, probably like right around 40 bucks for this one. Um, chamois L.L. Beans do really, really good. Sell really consistently. How do I buy from the lives? If you're ever interested in anything, just let me know over on my Instagram. I don't sell through TikTok because it's a lot of back and forth. Um, but hit me up on Instagram, um, Kway Shop on Instagram. Um, you can always like screenshot what, if I'm holding it up, screenshot it if you're interested, or just DM me on Instagram and say, hey, that um, red LL Bean chamois shirt, I'm interested in it. Um, how much do you want for it? Something like that. And I'll give you a pretty good deal. I got to make some money, but um, I don't mind spreading the deals off to you guys. All right, let me move the camera really quick. Put the bags up here so I don't have to kill my back. All right, here's another half off item. This is another LL Bean. This one is a men's large tall, really great size. I believe this one, oh no, it doesn't have the embroidery. So this is a really awesome one. Um, we only paid $6.50 for it. Probably again, like a $40 sale. Should sell pretty quick. By the way, I wanna make this announcement while we got a decent amount of people in here. Day after Christmas, I'm gonna be doing a subscriber giveaway. So I'm gonna be giving away three reseller boxes. I'm probably gonna pack anywhere between 150 to $200 worth of inventory in these boxes. So if you're interested, you of course have to subscribe at six bucks a month here on TikTok, um, but you'll be entered to win. Last month, I think I gave away probably anywhere between six to $800 worth of inventory last month to subscribers. Now I'm, I'm shrinking it down to one, uh, one time a month. Um, as I get more subscribers, I'll be able to put out more boxes. So we'll go from three to five to seven to nine, and we'll spread the wealth a little bit more. So if you're interested, six bucks a month, that will be the day after Christmas. So if you guys don't want to subscribe, perfectly fine. You can join in on the live and you can watch the giveaway happen and see what I'm giving away. But trust me when I say, here, hold on. Let me take this out of the, let me take this out of here. You guys don't even know what I have. Um, let's flip this. All right, I'm thinking, I'm pretty sure that this is going to be in one of the boxes that I give away. This is a vintage chalk line jacket. Um, it's a Detroit Red Wings, but it has a big hit on the back. Um, I think I'm gonna give this one away. It's gonna be one of the ones in the boxes. Um, really awesome piece. So that one will be in there. Um, appreciate uh, the subscription, Official Jacob. Um, I have so much inventory. That's the stack of Peter Millar stuff that I just went through. I have shoes. I'm probably not going to give away shoes this time. I have jeans. I have pants. And I still have all of those. And I have more jackets on the inside. So literally, I have enough inventory to pack these boxes full and still be good on my side. So I'll probably put some jackets in some boxes, some shorts and some jeans, and some shirts too. So if you're interested, hit that subscription button. Six bucks a month, you'll be entered to go in. And there's going to be three winners this month. So... I'm really excited to do that. And like I said, the more subscribers I get, the more chances I'll be able to do these giveaways. And I'm gonna try to pay it forward and give like pretty much what I'm making from subscriptions all back to you guys. <clears throat> do you have to be in to win? No, you don't have to be um, in the live to win. I'm giving it to the people. Um, if you're subscribed, you'll be entered. And then I DM you. I friend all my subscribers and then I'm able to DM you on the side. Um, tips are selling more on Posh or eBay. Poshmark, you got to share. eBay, just make sure you have good titles and good descriptions. Ever try selling thrift store items to Plato's Closet? Um, no. Um, I normally just try to sell them online. You get more money when you sell them online. All right, I might skip some people. Uh, where are you? Got a lot of work. I'm in Florida. Have you ever tried selling on whatnot? No, I'm not interested in selling on whatnot, to be honest. Um, just, I'm just not. I'd rather sell it on eBay. Here's a new brand to me. I looked this up and it looks like it sells pretty well. The brand is Ever. This one's in a size XL. Um, just look up Ever brand jackets. Um, it looks like comps are a little bit all over the place. There's some that have sold in a leather jacket for over 200 bucks. Um, this is not a leather jacket though. This is a cotton jacket. Um, I'm assuming that I should be able to get 50 for this and I only paid $6.50. Appreciate your Risner for the sub. Like I said, anybody who subs will be entered to win the giveaway. Three boxes, three boxes. And if you won last month and you win again, you're going to win again. I'm not going to like exclude people that have already won the previous months. Everybody is entered to win. All right. So somebody DM me. Did they DM me? They might've messaged me on one of my Instagram videos. And they said, they looked up Alan Flusier shirts and they don't sell for crazy money. Like some have sold for 15, but shout out Trisha. She should be in the chat. If you're not 
Um, Trisha could say something right now if she is. But she sold one of these shirts. I forgot what she sold it for. Um, and I've sold one of these shirts in the past. The key with these shirts is to get ones with crazy patterns and they do a little bit better. And I only paid $4 for each of these shirts. So it's a little bit uh, less of a gamble. Um, but these just have really funky patterns to them. Anytime I find them with funky patterns, I'll pick them up. Probably like a $25 sell, uh, sale. She sold that this exact one. So there you go. Sold the exact one. What's up, Chris? Chris, it's past your bedtime, dude. You're not allowed to be up this late. 25 plus shipping on Depop. There you go. So that's why I was pretty much assuming I was getting 25 for those. Um, I paid $650 for this. This is just a Lacoste shirt, size large. Just a nice button down or button front Lacoste shirt. Really nice pattern to this. Um, probably like 30 to 35 on this. What size is that? What size is um, what? The Flusier or the Lacoste? I've passed um, a few. I've passed a few times. Um, then you said to grab them. Yeah, I only pick them up when they're super cheap. When they're super, super cheap. What uh, what size were you talking about? The Flusier, they're 2XLs. They're both two. Uh, actually, I think all of them are 2XLs. Really big sizes. That's another reason why I decided to pick them up because big sizes sell. All right, somebody saved me during my live. Somebody saved me because I almost passed this up. So this is a men's Peter Millar shirt. We did pay $7.50 for this, but luckily they saw it on my screen. Shout out to whoever you were, really appreciate you. But as you can see, um, this is a brand new with tag Peter Millar shirt. I normally pass on smaller sizes. This is a size small, but it's brand new with tags. For $7.50, I can't pass. Even if I sell this for 35 bucks, it'll sell pretty quick and it is brand new. So awesome pickup there. It'll go well with all the new Peter Millar items that I'm going to be listing. All right, next item is shout out Patagucci. We actually found a ton of Patagucci last time we were thrifting. Um, we paid $6.50 for this Patagucci. Uh, this is just a normal men's button front shirt and it is 100% cotton. It actually feels like linen, but it's cotton. Really, really nice one. Appreciate you guys hanging out. If you have any questions, drop them down in the chat. If not, tap that screen. We're almost up to 20K. All right, some more of these Flusier shirts, however you pronounce it. Um, this one also is a size 2XL. I think they all are. Uh, we only paid $3 for this one. So three bucks and a 25 is what I expect to sell this one for. It's just got that crazy funky pattern. You can't pass those up. People are out there looking for these crazy patterns. All right, we got another Peter Millar. We only paid five bucks for this. It's just a normal Peter Millar button front shirt. Really nice one. Um, probably 25 to 35 on this. Um, next year, I think I'm going to shoot a little bit lower on my pricing to speed up sales a little bit. Um, so that way I can do more thrifting and get more bulk in. Um, plus my wife's going to be helping me full time. So a shirt like that, that I would normally list for 35, I think next year I'm going to drop the price to 25 just to make quicker sales. So then I can shoot more content, go out and thrift more often. Um, I think that's going to be next year's goal. It's going to be pretty crazy. You only buy crazy patterns of that brand? Yes. Yes. Um, did you pick up that Twillery? I did. I did pick it up. It should be in here somewhere. Actually, it's right here. Look at that. Look at that. You called it. Um, I only paid $4 for this, by the way. Four doll hairs. Yeah, four doll hairs. Twillery brand. Really, really nice um, button front shirt. Um, I think these go for like 25 to 35 So... Um, $4, 25 or 35 I'll take that all day. Out into the blizzard I go. Ouch. Jacob, I do not uh, envy you. It is nice and warm still here in Florida. Another one of these Flusier shirts. Another 2XL. $4. Awesome pattern. You guys know the drill on these. I'm not going to bash it into your head anymore. And last up, I think we got another Flusier shirt. This one's got a nice floral pattern to it four bucks big size awesome pickup um, again probably like 25 <clears throat> all right let's switch it up let's go to some jeans uh, thanks as always um, be happy and happy holidays to all appreciate you old chef thank you for hanging out all right next up we got some tried and true men's lucky brand jeans um, this was a decent size size 36 Really awesome pair. Um, I should be able to get probably um, 
probably like 30 for those. I'm not going to price that one too high. What's your average monthly revenue and profit? You don't mind sharing? I will share last year's numbers. I do all the time. Last year I was part-time and I sold just under $200,000 worth of stuff and I made 54K profit at the end of the year. So those are last year's numbers. Um, here we go. This is a pair of Everlane. We did pay full price for this. It was six bucks. Um, but these are men's Everlane. Um, I think men's Everlane go for like 40 bucks if I can remember correctly. Um, really awesome pair of men's blue jeans. Everlane is an awesome brand. Really awesome. Okay, this is a new brand to me that I found and actually looks like it goes for good money. The brand is Outer Known. Um, we only paid $3, right? Yeah, $3 for these. We only paid three bucks for these. Um, looks like these go for like 35 to 40 um, and they have a really good sell-through rate. So um, from what I can remember, looks like a pretty quick sale. Waiting for that Outer Known. I just showed it. Oh, the outer known. I just, Risner, I think that you like know what's coming up next. Risner, are you here? Where are you at? Are you in the rafters? I think she's in the rafters. Six fifty for these um, Lucky Brand. Again, just a staple seller. Sells pretty well. Risner is up in the rafters right now. She's just peeking. She's waiting for me to leave so she can steal all my inventory. Next up, um, tried and true men's Joe's jeans. These were six fifty. Um, I always pick up men's Joe's jeans. I pass on the women's. Uh, men's normally sell for thirty five to forty five for me. Has a camera on me, Risner? Are you live right now? Are you showing what I'm showing? Um, wish sister would do uh, live thrifts. Yeah, she just can't. It's really hard to do those at the bins. Really, really hard. Um, but she's trying to figure it out. Uh, we're gonna figure it out together because I want her to do lives too. Next up, we paid ten dollars for these. Um, um, Levi's jeans, brand new with tags. I normally get 35 to 40 for these brand new condition and they sell really fast. All right. Always check on Huckberry's site for the latest men's brands. There you go. That's a good, uh, good little tip. All right. We paid seven fifty. This is an older style of, um, AG jeans. As you can see, the little, little pieces coming off, but that's fine. Um, older styles still sell, but not as much as the newer styles, probably like 35, um, maybe 45 on these if I can push it. But to be honest, I'll probably list them a little bit lower. These are awesome. They even got a distressing on the back that looks like AG. That's pretty cool. Bins are, um, cut, cutthroat to film. Yeah. At the bins. I love saying that to her. She, she hates it, but I love it. All right, last uh, last item in that bag um, are another pair of men's Noble shoes. Really awesome brand. Again, I normally don't look at shoes, so I leave them for Ethan, but I can't pass Noble. If I find Noble cheap, um, I'll pick them up. We paid 13 bucks for these, um, but these will sell pretty quick. Um, these are a women's size 10 and a half. So if anybody's interested, hit me up on Instagram, women's size 10 and a half. I know the shoes normally fly. Um, people, people are always interested in buying shoes. All right, we got four more bags to go through in the towel bin. Yeah, that's that's insane that she found those in the towel bin. Yes, I am jealous, okay? Okay, I'll let her know. I am jealous. Um, Got to get a body mount. Yeah, if she does that, she's probably going to put them on YouTube, though. She probably can't do that on TikTok. I don't know how that would work, like live streaming on your GoPro. Can you even do that? I don't know. I don't know. Men's are crazy. They are. Um, here's another uh, awesome pickup. These are 5'11 Tactical. We paid six fifty for this, but these are a pair of jeans. I don't find too many jeans in 5'11 Tactical. Um, I don't know comps on these, but I'm assuming probably like right around 35 bucks. That's the cat way, exactly. That's the cat way. All right. Next up, we got, again, if you see this rivet in the back, you should already know what brand this is. These are men's FootJoy pants or FootJoy shorts. Um, I've only paid $3 for these. They're an excellent size, a size 40. There's the brand tag right there. Um, with that size, I should be able to get like 35 bucks for these. They will sell very fast because they are a bigger size. Always like picking up bigger size golf items because they sell pretty quick. Um, do the 511 Tacticals have a concealed carry pocket inside? I know with that, they actually sell for more and I was gonna check for that when I was listing them, but let's see. Oops, I don't wanna drop this bag, hold on. We will do we will do this on on live. Um, no, they do not. Nope, no concealed carry pocket inside. 
But I do know when, whenever um, 511 Tactile have those, they tend to be worth a little bit more. Wagon actually taught me that. Want to have those um, people at the bins videos. Yeah. Yeah, she was talking about like filming those people, but I don't know if she want to do that either because that'd be pretty crazy. All right, this was probably my favorite find, even though it's not my highest dollar find. It's pretty awesome because this sat there for an entire week. The yellow tags the week before were not half off, which means this was put out a week before and nobody picked it up. So, and we only paid $2, $2 for, if you can look at that back, there's no tag. So if you come down to the bottom and you flip it over for a men's Lululemon polo, $2. Shout out to the bins, cause probably would have paid close to that uh, <laughs> to add the bins, but Lululemon for two bucks. You cannot beat that. That is, that is a crazy awesome price. Surprise, nobody found that like, that was sitting there for an entire week. Oh, the woolly hat. I missed the woolly hat. Thank you, uh, Posh Main. Sorry. Sorry. I must have like went off stream when you sent it. Really appreciate it, Posh Main. Posh Main's like awesome supporter. She's always here. Um, her and PNT Cloth are always killing it with the gifts. I really, really appreciate you guys with all the gifts. I do end up giving most of those back to the, the community. Um, at this point, I have a ton of gifts, though. I'm trying to give them back, but um, maybe some people will start getting some galaxies. <laughs> so there it is right there. Appreciate you, Posh Main. <laughs> uh, next up, we have uh, for $10, we paid uh, $10 for this Lacoste. It is a really good size. It's a size 9, which I believe is a 2XL or a 3XL um, full zip jacket Lacoste. So I'm going to list this one ASAP, try to get it gone. Oh, and two without you. Appreciate the gifts. Um, Flippin' Nurse, I paid $2 for. Um, I paid two dollars for a Lululemon men's. Also, that's awesome. For men's polo, that's awesome. All right, next up, um, Trisha. I don't know if you're interested in this. If you're still in the chat, um, but I'm gonna look it up. Uh, I only paid a um, dollar fifty for it. So, Trisha, um, I can just send this to you. I don't care. Um, but this is a women's size extra large um, run Disney shirt. Really, really awesome shirt. Um, Trisha, actually, just want to say Jags are about to beat the Jets. Yes, they are. And unfortunately, the Titans lost their starting quarterback for the rest of the year. So I don't care about football anymore. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> Even if we make it to the playoffs, we're not going anywhere. Um, uh, extra large. Uh, it's the evil queen. I like Maleficent. Trisha, you want this? Let me know. If you want it, I got your address now, Trisha. <laughs> Actually, I'm sending this to you, Trisha. I don't care if you want it or not. It's yours. Um, I want a beaver and a llama restriction. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next up, yeah, Jet, uh, Titans lost their quarterback for the rest of the year, so uh, we will not be watching football um, unless Malik is able to pull out the victory um, on Saturday against the Texans, which I believe they're not going to because Malik is kind of trash this year. He's a new quarterback. Um, this is a Johnny O. Uh, we paid $5 for this. Really great brand to be on the lookout for. This is just a pullover sweater. Um, should sell really quick. Um, cause I'm going to get it listed really quick. I'm probably gonna have all this cold weather gear listed next week. Um, really awesome piece. That's why you see me separating the cold weather gear kind of over here. Cause it'll be listed. Um, ASAP. I want to get all this stuff out of here. I don't want to be stuck summertime with a bunch of sweaters. Um, uh, you'll have more time for cod. Yeah. I don't care about, I don't I'm watching football. I'm depressed. When I saw the news for like, it was six hours ago. I saw the news about Ryan Tannehill being out possibly for the rest of the season and Malik being in, I wanted to cry. Um, Polo Ralph Lauren. This is a hundred percent cotton, uh, woven, um, sweater. These actually can go for really good money. I don't know comps on this exact one, but, uh, probably high end. I think this is like a $60 sweater, maybe low end 35. I really got to look up comps, but we only paid $3 and 50 cents for it. So awesome pickup right there. Again, one item I'm going to get listed ASAP. Um, what do you sell lucky brands, uh, made in the USA size 36? I normally sell lucky brand for like right around 35, 35. If they're of a good size. Here's another brand that I don't normally pick up. It was only $5. This is a men's J crew sweater It is a hundred percent cotton, but it's a heavier cotton sweater and it's got this nice stitching to it. Um, I'm probably going to get like 30, 35 for this, um, for five bucks. It's worth the gamble. I actually want to try out J crew a little bit more. I sold a J crew sweater, um, last week or the week before for $71.99. So um, J. Crew can actually sell for good money if you get the right stuff. Don't pass on all J. Crew. 
Oops. All right, we still got two more bags after this. Shout out Bearded. He's probably waiting for me on Call of Duty right now. Poor guy. He's he's getting he he gets carried by me. Okay, I I win all the matches for him, so that's why he wants me on there. Seven fifty is what we paid for this. This is a Vineyard Vines pullover. It does have some staining, not staining, but it has some gunk on the front. So I'm gonna throw it in the wash um, and get this washed. Um, but still, seven fifty. That should come out really easily, and I expect. I think this is a wool blend, right? Yeah, it's a wool blend. So I expect to sell this for thirty five. Uh, maybe a little bit more, maybe 40, but we're going to throw that over to the wash. Pass up J. Crew stuff. Should have been looking. Yeah, the military style jackets go for really, really good money. All right, so I did pay up for these. I paid 15 for these, but the reason I paid up for them is because they are my size and they are a pair of Lululemon shorts. I really like this style of short. It also has the Lululemon kind of logo on the back. So these are going to end up in my closet. They're not going to end up for resale. So uh, maybe one day I'll sell them. But to be honest, I'm going to probably keep them for a while. Cause I'm in love with Lululemon shorts. So J. Crew set, sweater sell. been passing. If you go check out my eBay store, you can see the one that sold. It is a quilted jacket. So it's like a full quilted jacket with a little bit of a liner. That one sold for $71.99. It's the higher end pieces that can go for really good money. Because retail, um, retail on those jackets, I think, are like $150. Um, blue tags with white, um, it's vintage yellow is new. There you go. All right, next up, let's get the last two bags, some more jeans in this one. Um, we paid $10. Um, these are brand new with tag Levi's really awesome piece. Um, should be able to get 35 to 40 for those pretty quick. By the way, if you guys are interested in seeing how I picked up all these items, the video is actually up on my YouTube channel right now. You can watch me thrift these, answer questions while I'm thrifting. Um, go check out the video. It's live right now on YouTube. Um, five bucks for these men's Joe's jeans. Really awesome brand. Um, should be able to get 35 to 40. Love picking up jeans for five bucks. Profit isn't as great as shirts because shipping is a little bit more, but they tend to sell a lot quicker. So um, I do not mind picking them up for that price. I'm gonna try this out. I've never sold these before. These are men's Orvis jeans. Never sold Orvis before, but recently I've been selling a lot more than I usually have. I've been picking it up and they have been selling pretty quick. So I'm gonna give these a shot. Um, we'll see. I'll keep you guys up to date. If they're only like twenty to twenty-five dollar sales, then I'm not gonna I'm not gonna uh, do that. You got your shirt. Let's go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Picked up the Orange County choppers, long sleeve, crazy huge embroidery. Um, couldn't leave it. Those will probably go for good money. I can see those selling. Next up is a pair of Peter Millar pants. We paid $4 for these. does have a club embroidery on the back, but that shouldn't hurt the value too much. Um, awesome to pick these up when I got all the other Peter Millar stuff. So I'm going to get these listed with that stuff, and they should sell probably all together. A lot of that stuff I expect to sell in a bundle on Poshmark, so be 100% honest. Next up, we got a pair of men's Mavi jeans, one of my favorite brands to pick up. These sell super, super fast. Um, a lot of people leave these. Um, last pair of Mavi jeans I sold for $38 on, I believe it was eBay. Um, we only paid $4 for these. So just Mavi. These are like more of a pant than a jean, but still I'm um, probably gonna list these for like 35, 38, somewhere around there. I'm playing around with my listing numbers. I normally try to list at like 30, 35, 40, but now I'm starting to list instead of 35, a little bit higher, like 38 and see if I can make those sales. So playing around my numbers a little bit. Only paid um, $3 for this pair of Orvis pants. Again, I'm gonna try these out, see how well they sell. Um, I don't normally sell Orvis items, but for $3, it's worth the gamble. Worth the worth to gamble and try to see what I can get for them. Do you have a video on how to get started? Best way to start is start selling items in your own house. I don't have a video, but if you want, I'm sure you can type it in uh, YouTube and find a million videos about how to get started selling on eBay. All right, the only women's item I picked up because my wife did not go shopping with me last week because she was watching my son. Um, we paid $5 for these Pilcro and the letterpress jeans. They are a women's size 28, just a normal pair of blue jeans. Really good condition. I normally get like 35 for these. So awesome pair of jeans. They're really good, uh, really good uh, brand, high quality. Um, sell, sell pretty quick too, for me at least. Um, hang out here. You learn so much. Exactly. We try. I try to, I try to spread the knowledge. All right. So this is a pair of men's. I don't know if you can see that, but it says Robert Graham. These are Robert Graham pants. I only paid six fifty for these. Um, 
Robert Graham pants don't sell for like as crazy as some of the shirts sell for. Um, but I expect to get like maybe 35 for these. Um, I hardly ever find Robert Graham pants. So I'm pretty curious on how fast those sell. By the way, I just noticed like my hairs are sticking through the top of my hat. Shout out Bearded Thrifter and his Bearded Thrifter merch. All right, here's a really awesome brand. Are you jeans free shipping? Yes, I do free shipping, but buyer has to pay return shipping. Saw Orvis beige men's pants today. I left them because I was unsure. I don't know either. I'm, I'm, don't quote me on this. I don't know what they're going to sell for. I'm just giving them a shot, see what they're going to sell for. What's up, Poshman? Wait a second. These are new with tags. I just noticed that. Holy cow. We only paid $3 for a pair of brand new with tag Todd Snyder pants. Holy crap. I didn't know these were new with tags. When I when I bought them, they, they looked like this. I, I didn't realize that there was actually a tag on the inside. Um, holy cow. We paid $3 for these. Todd Snyder is an awesome brand. Um, I have to look up comps on these, but I'm pretty sure that these are going to go for 60 plus. And I did not know they were new with tags, so maybe a little bit more. Um, Todd Snyder. Wow. Um, I picked up a champion Todd Snyder hoodie um, like three weeks ago from Red, White, and Blue. And that one sold within a day. I, I made a video on it. I think it sold for like 70 bucks. Pretty crazy. Going strong on the live, sir? I am. Um, Bearded's waiting for me. He's like, come play Call of Duty. Hurry up. All right, so the chat actually talked me into picking this one up. Oh, we only paid, um, what would that be, $4 for this. But this is a vintage kids Lacoste shirt or sweater. Yeah, it's a size 14. So it might be able to be uh, a woman might be able to fit into this, a, a smaller woman. But this is vintage Lacoste. This is Izod Lacoste. You can see right there on that back label, Izod Lacoste. It's in really good condition. Um, I believe this is wool too. No, it's 100% acrylic. But uh, has that uh, has that Lacoste embroidery. These vintage pieces can command a little bit of a higher value, but because it's a kid's piece, um, I'm not really expecting this to go for too much money, but I only paid $4 for it. And chat convinced me. They were like, pick it up. A woman could buy this. I was like, okay, I guess I'll try it. He's missing it. Yep. I just did my fa uh, first Poshmark listing. Does eBay sell faster? I sell mostly on eBay. On the weekends, when I do my, uh, when me and Bearded do our lives and we're packing orders, you'll see that I sell a lot more on eBay than I do on all the other sites. Like I'll get 20 orders on eBay as opposed to only getting like three on the other sites. Wait, hold on. What did Poshmane do? What did Poshmane do? I'm, I'm, I'm lost. I'm lost. Why is everybody laughing at Poshmane? I'm too busy like working over here. We're not, we don't have time to play around with you guys. <laughs> big boys like big girls and baby shirts. There you go. Is that like a motto? What did Poshmane do? What are you guys laughing about? I'm so, I'm so lost. All right, next up, um, this is a men's piranha. Look at my, oh, I see. <laughs> I see, I see what you did there. That's an awesome pick. That's a that's a good looking guy you got there. Um, this is a uh, men's piranha. Uh, we only paid $4 for this. Um, I expect this one to sell for probably like 25, maybe 30. Uh, good size, a size extra large. So we'll, uh, we'll command a little bit of a higher price. Yeah, I, I wasn't paying attention to the profile pics. That's not really something I look towards as a profile pic. So if you guys want to change... <laughs> oh, you guys are insane. That's funny. That's good. That's that's really good. Next up, uh, Patagonia. little Patagucci piece. Um, this was only $6.50. Men's size XL. Nice color on this one. Nice pink plaid. Um, probably like a $35 sale. Um, this feels like it might be cotton too. If it was linen, it might go for a little bit more. You guys are insane. Uh, next up, Southern Tide. One brand that I don't really pick up too much anymore, but I couldn't pass it pass it up for four bucks. Um, again, probably like a twenty five dollar sale. Nothing too crazy. It's a size large, so it's a decent size. If it's anything lower than a size large, I might have passed it up. All right, what do we got here? Sometimes I forget what I buy. All right, Link Soul. One item that I got from that big box that we just unboxed. Uh, we paid four dollars for it, full price, but four dollars is not that bad. It is a men's size XL, and it's just a normal polo. Um, again, probably like a twenty-five dollars sale. Nothing too crazy, but four into twenty-five, even with free shipping. I mean, those margins are crazy good. So I'll pick those up all day. 
Here's an item that a lot of people might pick up and you probably should actually pick it up is Tiger Woods polos. People really like these. I only paid $5 for this. I think the last Tiger Woods polo I had, um, it had a stain in it and it sold for 30 bucks. This one has no stains. It even has a Nike check on the front. So I expect this one to go for 35 bucks. Um, I feel like it needs to be a new gift for subs. Make it happen, Wayne. A new gift? Okay, hit, send it to me on Instagram, Poshmane, and I will make it a sub emote. Do it. I'll, I'll make it a sub mode. I don't care. Uh, next up is a Kenzo shirt. Um, chat like a month and a half ago when I was in the store um, told me to pick up the shirt. I think it was priced at 75 bucks. Um, they knocked it down all the way to $12.99 and it was half off. So I picked up this shirt. I'm going to give it a shot and see what I can get for Kenzo. I've never picked up this brand before, but um, we'll see. Yeah, send it to me on Instagram by later tonight after this live when I'm playing Xbox with Bearded. I'll load it up. You guys you guys can have it. You'll have that emote. I'll have to like figure out how to like crop it down, but I'll make it work. I don't care. I don't care about making fun of myself. Just look at me. All right, next up, another Allen Flussier. This one is a size 2XL as well. Um, only paid $4. Really nice pattern to this one. Probably like a $25 sale. Shout out to Trisha. I should make that... Oh, I should make that a sub emote. I should make the at the bins. At the bins. I should do that as one of my sub emotes too. Man, you guys are coming up with some great ideas today. Appreciate the follow. Thank you so much. Pretty at the bins. We're making that a sub emote too. I'm gonna figure out how to do that too. Man. At the bins. It's my size. I wish you could put sub emotes from somebody else's channel into somebody else's so you guys could literally go over to cats live and put at the bins and just like spam it and like make her mad that would be awesome really nice pattern um colorblind no the crazier the pattern actually the better it'll sell so with these allen flusiers the crazier the pattern the better it'll sell just look up robert graham sales on ebay um these these shirts with these crazy patterns um sell a lot faster than if it was just a plain colored allen flusier so this one has a crazy pattern too people like just being like the life of the party right so if you have one of those shirts that nobody else has and you walk into a party with that shirt on, boom, you're going to be life of the party. All right, this is a Kahala shirt. Um, it is 100% cotton, but it was only $4. Again, another really nice pattern for a Hawaiian shirt. It's got fishes and stuff all over it. Um, these don't sell for as what they used to sell for. They used to go for like 35 plus. I'm probably going to list this one for like 25 um, just to get it out of here. Um, see, everybody likes the colors. So shout out to... Uh, Shout out to, who was it that said that? Um, Mark. Mark, you sound like a dude. Uh, yeah, sometimes, sometimes, uh, yeah, I'll just leave it there. Kenzo is a couture, uh, Japanese popular with streetwear. Yeah, I heard that. So that's, um, I didn't know the brand. I never found it before, but um, I'm going to give it a shot. We'll see what it sells for. Sold a few Kahala shirts. Yeah, Kahala used to sell for really good money, but it's kind of fallen off a little bit. Um, if you can find silk Kahalas, they go for a lot, uh, a lot, a lot more. Here's a really awesome pickup. Uh, we paid $6.50, but this is a Patagucci. Shout out Patagucci. Um, 2XL. Really nice size on this one. Um, should be a nice little $35 sale pretty quickly too. Short sleeve, so that's going to get listed in a couple weeks. I'm not going to list that one right away. Top five brands you would grab if you just started in clothes. If you want to know the brands I pick up on a consistent basis, my eBay store is linked in my bio. Go check out my eBay store. Look at what I have listed. I don't have a top five brands, to be honest. I If I walk into a thrift store, I'm looking for the brands that have good resale value. I don't have a top five. And the top five that I would tell you are probably really hard to find and you won't find consistently. So just go to my link in my bio, my link tree, check out my eBay store, go from there. Um, tons of free information over there. And then check out some of my videos too. I have tons of videos here on TikTok going over sales and brands that I pick up on a consistent basis. So I don't have a top five, I'm sorry. I just don't, I don't think you would find them. Um, Polo Ralph Lauren, really good size, 2XL. We only paid five bucks for this. I don't pass, pick up all Polo Ralph Lauren, but ones with embroidery like this, I will pick up because um, people look for these kind of embroideries. Collectors, there's collectors for Polo Ralph Lauren that will pick those up. Um, probably like a 30 to $35 sale. It's fair, yeah. There's just tons. I mean, go to my eBay store. I have thousands of items. Uh, not that I have like 2,000 items listed. Go check them out. There's tons over there. You can even look at my sales too. You can filter for sold and you can see everything I sold on my eBay store. All that's public information. I'm not hiding it from nobody because I got no business hiding it. $750. Um, this is an Untuck It. 
and it is 100% linen, and it is a really, oh, it's not a good size, it's a size medium, but still $35 sale on this one. I just sold it on Tuck It, just a plain t-shirt today for 25 bucks over on eBay, full price sale, so I love picking up on Tuck It. All right, another Patagucci. We picked up tons of Patagucci uh, the other day. Size 2XL, um, we paid five bucks for it. Again, probably like a $35 sale just because it's that bigger size, sell, sell really good. Do you always do free shipping on clothing? I normally do free shipping. I do free returns on everything but jeans and pants. I do buyer pays return shipping on those. People are so strange sometimes. People can be strange, it's okay. We like the strange and we like the normal. We like everybody. Um, this is a piranha shirt. Paid $4 for it, half off. Um, just a nice piranha shirt. We got another one too, so maybe somebody on Posh will bundle that up. Sold six on Tuckets to one person yesterday. Nice. On Tuckets, one of those brands that people, if they like it, they like it and they'll buy it and they'll consistently buy it. Um, here's a here's one that I paid full price for. We paid $8, but this is a Tory Richard. It is 100% cotton, but it's a size large. But the reason I picked it up was that pattern. It's really hard to find Tory Richards with really good patterns to them. Normally they're just plain, um, but this is a nice floral pattern. I expect this one to go for like 35 bucks. Probably not really soon. Probably in the summertime, obviously, because it's a Hawaiian shirt. How much did you spend? This was yesterday's haul, by the way. The video of my live thrift is up on my YouTube channel if you want to go check it out. Um, but I spent, I didn't spend too much actually. I spent $437, which for all of this stuff is not really that bad. Um, sometimes I've spent like six to, I think my most expensive haul from there was an $800 haul. Um, but for all the stuff I got, I think my average buy cost was like right around five bucks. Cause I was getting stuff like this, Foot Joy for $2.50. Like, when are you going to pass up foot joy for 250 um nice foot joy does have a club embroidery on the front but i mean 250 i can't pass it up even if i sell this for 20 bucks it's still really good margins i'm probably gonna list it for 25 though appreciate you posh man posh man i love the picture by the way <laughs> now i get to see the picture every time you send me a gift this is awesome <laughs> next up is another untuck it it's a size small but it was only two dollars and fifty cents it's just a polo um, again, this is like a 20 to $25 sale. Not too, not too much, but for 250, I just, I can't pass up 250. They're easy to list, easy to ship. Um, can't pass that up. And last item I got $7 and 50 cents is what I paid for this men's untuck it shirt, solid black. That's why I decided to pay up for it. Solid black and solid white tend to sell a lot faster. Um, and I expect to get like 30 to 35 for this. It'll probably sell about a week, maybe a week and a half after I list it. That's normally what my untuck it sells for. So I will show you my inventory situation again. I have tons of inventory, pants, 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 and shorts, all of those. That's got to be a hundred pairs minimum. This is my shirt pile. Shirt pile is absolutely insane. And then I have a full rack behind it. Um, this doesn't even include my jackets that I have. Like I've been separating out the jackets over here. Um, and I already have a stack about this tall on my table inside my house. So what we are doing um, for you subs, for people who are subbed, six bucks a month, we're doing subscriber giveaway day after Christmas. It's going to be like a Christmas giveaway. Monday after Christmas, if you're subbed, you will be entered. And I'm giving away three reseller boxes packed with inventory. Probably the value will be anywhere between $150 to $200. I might actually do a little bit more than that. I'll see because I have so much inventory right now. I don't mind giving back to you guys. So if you're interested, six bucks a month, day after, we will pick three winners. I will have full boxes. I'll show you exactly what's in the boxes before I go and give them away. But if you're entered um, for six bucks and I will pay for shipping costs to you, everything, literally $6 gets you in the raffle. So um, feel free to subscribe if you want to. If you want to just hang out and watch um, the giveaway this time around and then do the next one for the following month. That's perfectly fine. Um, last month we gave away anywhere between four and $600 worth of inventory. New in box Nike dunks. I gave away the pink colorway. Um, I gave away new tag inventory, I gave away used inventory. The cool thing about this is, is a way for you guys to get really good inventory. Um, if you win the box and be able to list it and sell it and make a bunch of money. So then you can start reinvesting that money into your business. So if you're interested, six bucks a month, I'll probably announce this um, tomorrow. And then um, I'm not going to announce it anymore until that Monday after. Um, so if you guys are interested, six bucks a month, really appreciate all the subs that I've already subbed. Um, should be pretty cool. Um, cool little giveaway. So 
There we go. That's my little spiel. Is your sister going to win? No, she's not allowed to win. She's the one person that is, is exempt from all giveaways. Now the fun part, listing. Yeah. Well, my wife is actually going full time in the beginning of January. Um, she lists for me three days a week right now, but we're bumping her up to five days and my son's going to daycare full time. So I need all of this inventory because she's able to draft like 20 to 25 items a day. So this pile will diminish super fast. Um, so that's why I continue to buy. I don't mind buying this time of year. Is Dry Joy a level up from Foot Joy? Dry Joy is just like uh, Foot Joy's line of like rain gear. So that way you don't get uh, don't get wet. I don't think it's a level up. It's just um, a different line specifically for keeping you dry when you're out on the golf course. Yeah, Cold Medina. I actually did um, I did a giveaway and I messed up. So I ended up giving Cold Medina a brand new um, uh, Bugatti shirt um, for free. Like just sent it to him because I made a mistake. Um, he won a giveaway, but he wasn't there. And I was kind of felt bad, so I messaged him, and people told me not to do that, so I just sent him a free shirt. Canada account if I win. Um, yeah, ooh, that'd be hard. Maybe I should make it U.S. only. I didn't think about that. I could probably, f I'll figure out how to ship it to Canada. If you win in Canada, I don't mind. I'll, I'll ship it out to you. Jags won. Damn you, Jags. Yeah, I don't care about football, Trisha. <laughs> yeah, I'll figure out how to ship it to Canada. I should be able to get it to Canada pretty pretty easily. Yeah, I should be able to. That, that shouldn't be an issue. Um, sh shipping it over the border really isn't that much more expensive, so we should be able to uh, to do that. But if you, get, you guys have any last-minute questions, feel free to drop them down in the chat. We went over a full unboxing of a Facebook Marketplace haul, and then we went over the entire thrift haul. Again, if you missed that thrift haul, it's over on my YouTube channel right now. Go feel free to watch the entire thing um, front to back. You can see the items that I showed how I picked it up, how I made my decisions when I was picking it up. That's all on my YouTube channel. Next Wednesday, I will be live again um, doing the same thing at the same store. So if you guys are interested, hit that follow button. You'll get a notification as soon as I go live. Appreciate you flipping, nurse. Nice hauls. Yeah, they were, they were some good ones. Um, do we get the package uh, from the mailbox? No, we didn't. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go outside. It's raining outside right now. I don't want to get all wet. <laughs> I'll, I'll pick it up. I'll show it on tomorrow night's live. I'll show it on tomorrow's. Peace out, Risner. Thank you so much for all the info. Really appreciate you guys. Looks like we don't have any questions, so I'm going to go ahead and head off. I'll be live again probably midday tomorrow at some time doing some listings, and I'll also be live again tomorrow night at 9.30 Eastern. So feel free to come in tomorrow. Hit that follow button if you haven't already. Go watch some of my content if you haven't watched it. Really appreciate you guys. Show some love on some of the content. Peace out. Y'all have a good night.